now is not a good time. I'm sorry, um, but you caught me at a bad time. What do you say? Excellent. I'll be super brief. Mm -hmm. So we'll get you thinking about this. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing is I, I, like, I love to agree. You know, you know my, my stance on that. I love to agree. But then I, even when I'm door knocking, hey, I'm super busy. I don't have time. I'm about to go to work in 10 minutes. Perfect. At the end of 60 seconds, you can time me. You yep. can kick me out if you want. But let, let's go ahead and jump in mm -hmm. because I'm going to be, but I promise to be super brief. Mm -hmm. uh, so you mean take off my shoes? How do you, how do you want to handle this? Yeah. Yeah. Ask another question. Engage. Yep. Um, there, there, no one has time. You, but it kills me that salespeople expect every person <laughs> they talk to yeah. just to give them their wallet. Here, would yeah. you please take my wallet and not have to work for it? Exactly. No, that isn't the way it works. You're going to get an excuse. I don't, no one has time. None of us have time. Ever. We're all window shoppers. I am there to buy. What is it they say? 100%. Uh, they, they don't walk on the lot lest they are here to buy. <laughs> right? That's so, right. <laughs> they are here to buy. They, they are, you have them in front of you. They have shown interest. They have let you in. They have answered the phone. Yep. Whatever it is, there is an interest to buy. Exactly. Uh, they're not going to just lay down for you. They're not going to do that. If I call your client today, yeah. I'm talking to you. If I call your client today. Which one of them in there? That guy right there okay. in the shirt with right. the face. If I call your client, do they know who you are? Yeah. Or are they going to say, well, I've got his card here somewhere. It's, uh, are they you, know who, they memorable? Know who you are. Yeah, exactly. And what do you do to be memorable? What percentage of your clients will, would remember your name? Me? 100%. One of the craziest things that you and I did when we worked together, and one of the things yeah. I still do, is we send out a magnet. We have magnets, and this we tell true. people, if something happens to you, throw that magnet on your fridge. If something happens, tell your kids to call us. And I've yeah. walked, I don't know, how, into how many homes. Where you walk back I walk in back in, and there's, later, there's the magnet the still sitting on the fridge. On the fridge. It's so Just true. stuff like that. It's what so do you true. guys up, do? Uh, <laughs> I want a cremation. One of his clients said, hey, I want a cremation because that's my last chance at a smoking hot body. New favorite client from one of your leads. A 918 annual premium issued. Wow. Way to go, Trey. Dude just turned a few hundred dollars into a grand off of one person. Nice. And see, here's what that. happened. Here's what happened. This is interesting. This is kind of in reverse. Yep. He will remember that lady 100%. forever. 100%. She set I herself will too apart. Now. She set herself apart. Yep. Uh, I had a client here the other day. That's why people do such stupid stuff on commercials. But what do you do yeah. to set yourself apart? Mine was the newsletter. I still get calls uh -huh. today. And I haven't a sent out a newsletter in four years. Yeah. And I'll get clients today that, what's up, Josh? I'll get clients today that still call and say, Cody, I miss those the newsletter. newsletters. Yeah. yeah, very nice. So bad. And I haven't sent out for four years. You know, uh, let me Every tell month. you some things. Let me tell you some things to avoid. Okay. okay? I, I'm, I like that. I'm not a huge fan of promotional items. I am a little bit. I like some. You but like don't, and yeah, don't and go yeah. the traditional route. Don't go pens and pencils and stuff. Do something different. Look at this. My kids got me this. Yep. Batman pop socket. Pop socket. You, you better believe it. I'm gonna have some pop sockets at the Na at the Everson Nation conference. Yeah. That I'm gonna be giving away to you guys. My kids got me a Batman pop socket for Father's Day. Yeah. And I've had 20 people ask me, "Where'd you get that? That's pretty cool." Or exactly. How old are you? But you so know, true. that's okay. So true. So, but you know, do something different. Don't do pins. Don't do. If someone else balls. is doing Don't do something, think of a way to make it. Okay, that's a great idea. How do I improve on that? How do I improve on that? How do I do something different? Not how do, how do I do everything the same. Yeah, exactly. You know? Because think about this. What is the purpose of promotional items? It's to get people to remember, and it's to get other people to ask, where'd you get that? You know? 100%. Yep. Okay. I mean, it does two things. It gets people to ask, so you get referrals, uh -huh. and, it, and, it, and it helps you stay top of mind. Because when they think about insurance in the future, yep. who are they going to think about? It? Insurance agents specifically, there's... People that will stand you up. People yeah. that, there, there, there's people that will forget your appointment. People that will tell you to get lost. People that will curse at you. People that will say, I hate your freaking guts. Awesome. Pretty soon, you'll change your mind, I promise. Well, I mean, right? yeah. There's, uh, people, there's ways to respond you take to that it, stuff. You take it so well. Like, when you think positively, you take it so well because... I didn't used to. There's... There are, well, yeah, there's times that, you know, you could have gotten hot-headed, and you might have when you were, <laughs> but as you've grown up and learned, like, yep. you have, you, you just take things a different way, and I'm proud of you for that. But there are times as an intern agent that you could, you know, lash out and be angry because that someone stood you up, they hung up on you, you call 100%. them back, they hung up on you again, you know, like, yell at you, this is, whatever. You just got to burn the bridge and move on.
Cody, what is the best way to handle a slightly older lead that says I already took care of it in a face-to-face -face situation? I love that. I love that because you can take it a few different ways. Hey, did, did, have you been updated? I mean, because it could be a year-old lead. Right. Have you been updated with the new information? And also, I, I've, seen, I, I've met with a lot of people just like you in this city that took care of it a little bit ago, but, but because they didn't, let, they didn't take 60 seconds to hear from me, they end up overpaying. Right. And so, I mean, try to spin into a positive. I mean, the goal is to get in the door. If you're door knocking an old lead, the goal is to get in the door. They say, hey, dude, I already took care of it. I understand. But what's going to happen and what you're going to love, Miss Betty, is I'm going to spend 60 seconds with you. At the end of 60 seconds, if I haven't rocked your freaking world, I'm going to let you kick me out. This is is like, that fair enough? It's like deja vu because that's literally what he would say word for Maybe, word pretty yeah. much. So Maybe so. Just had this happen. Dude, spin it. Get in. I mean, every encounter is different. Every person's different. But sometimes, sometimes they're in a hurry. Perfect. I only need 60 seconds and I promise it'll be worth it. Should I take off my shoes? Where should we sit? The table or the couch? Or even over the phone, like a 60, I mean, 60 seconds is not that long, so, no. I mean, you know. it's aggressive, but it creates Insh a sense of urgency. Yeah, ensuring that they're in the best place possible. Anytime. Okay, yeah, and if you had to pick, what, what would you say is best normally? What would you say, m morning? Tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning, okay. Perfect, I'll make sure that happens, okay. And we've, we've got this as the best number to call you back. Is that right? Th this number, okay, okay. And then I've got you. I've got you at uh, sixty-four. Is that true? Sixty-five. Well, happy late birthday. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm making you younger. I I'm sure you're okay with that. Uh, and then, do you want do you want to receive your your information on the uh, on five thousand, ten thousand, or twenty thousand of coverage? Ten's uh, the most popular. Is that what you want me to do? Yeah, yeah. And then, hey, last question. Um, who, who's, who's normally your benefit? Last question. Who's normally your beneficiary for something like this? Is it normally your uh, spouse, son, daughter? Grandkids. Okay, perfect. Well, that's good. No, that's cool. I love I love grandkids. I got a little. Well, I don't have grandkids, but I get to play with my my parents' grandkids, so that's fun. Uh, all right. Um, I will have them call you back in the morning on this number, and they will ask for Vicky, and they'll give, give you that for that new state-approved final expense information. Okay, sweetie. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Appreciate you. Bye bye. Dude, is that is it? It it ain't easy. It ain't easy. But anyone can do it, man. What is up over here on the the uh, camera to my left, the studio's right? Dude, how about that? I'll put it on pause real quick. I want, you, I want to break down that call a little bit because it's one thing to just cold call a bunch of people. CJ, Andrew, Albert, what is up? Dude, I'm jacked up. I'm excited. I'm loving life on a Tuesday afternoon. Cold calling with you. What's up, James? Dude, what do you think, man? What do you think? What do you think? Oh, did, did you guys notice something? I want to diagnose that for a second. Did Because I, I want to start to get to where I'm actually coaching as much as I'm just calling. Did you guys notice that when I said... When's the best time to call you back? Would that be mornings, afternoons, or evenings? You guys may have noticed the lady said, what's up, Thomas? The lady said, anytime is fine. Anytime isn't an answer. When I say, do you want this, this, or this? And, some, and when I say, do you want A, B, or C, and someone picks D, that doesn't mean they answer my question. So what do I do? Well, you know what? If you had to choose, what would you say? If you had to pick. She said, okay, uh, tomorrow morning. That's even more spe specific than I wanted. But you guys are getting people that say, hey, dude, I, I, want you, I, I don't want you to call me back or I want you to call me, you know, whenever. I don't care. There's no commitment there. Get them to agree. Get some acknowledgement. You can get them to say yes whenever you want. You can get them to go from, we went from a close-up shot to a, to, to a, to a de still, still decent close-up shot. Dylan's back here, man in the camera today. When she said, I don't know, any time. I could have just went with it and said, okay, what's up, Albert? I could have said, dude, we'll, we'll call it. We'll just, we'll, you know what? We'll, okay, we'll just call back anytime. But that ain't going to get you anywhere. That ain't going to help me. That's my favorite phrase. I use it so much. I used it last night in the security mentor group. An agent said, I like them all. And I said, well, you shoot. If you had to pick, well, which one would you choose? And then he chose. Everyone, has a, everyone can make a decision on what they actually want, which one they prefer, but you got to ask them again. You can ask them the same question over and over again as long as it's worded in a different way.